Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be amazing because I am going to complete my entire project in the Blender 2.93 and I will show you that how I created the Volcano Ball, two point, Volcano Ball in Blender 2.93. So friends, in the previous two videos, I created this type of animation using geometry nodes. Okay friends, as you can see. But friends, this project is not ready here. And this is the last part of my video that I will create a Volcano Ball using geometry nodes. So friends, if you like this video, then please share with your friends. And if you are new on my channel and you don't watch my second video, uh, previous videos, I give a link to the i button. You can click i button and saw my videos. So friends, let's start and make this video and complete this tutorial. So friends, as you can see here, we already created this animation. So what we do now, just create an another icosphere here, okay, and change the subdivision value. Sorry. Change the subdivision value to 7. Now you can see here this solution is so smoother. Change the icosphere name to displace. Okay. Okay. So let's create our geometry node. Here. We already I already created the two geometry nodes here, a base geometry node and an instance to instance geometry node. So let's create a third one. Press Shift A, add a object in corner. Now you and add a proximity node. So friend, what we do now? Just connect the proximity node here and change the faces faces value to point, and connect this geometry to target, and select the object is base. Okay, and change the attribute values to disk here. As you can see here, nothing is happening here. So what we do now, what we do now, what we do now, just press shift A and add a attribute color ramp and connect this to here, change the attribute value to disk and change the result value to call. But there is no attribute which is belongs to the call. So let's create a vertex color here and color. You can see that this attributes and these attributes are totally same. Okay, but nothing is showing here. So what we do now? Just go here and add, change it to vertex. Now you can see the color is shown here. So let's change it a little bit, and you can see here that's looking so perfect. But friends, this is not ready yet. So what we do now? Just press Shift A, add a attribute vector mapping. But before this. Let's separate our object. So let's add separate x, y, z. Attribute separate x, y, z. So ch change the vector value to call because it will be changed along. It will be transformed and uh, moving along with the axis. So result 1 is dual x. Okay. Result 2 is dual y. And variable. Well means variables and z. Okay. Sorry, values. Okay. So now you can see the separation nodes is also ready. So what we do now and what we do next, just add a vector map node and change this A value to disk value, okay? Change this A value to disk value here. So let's add the modifier, change this value to disk, disk value, disk placement, But uh, change the value to normal. Sorry, normal. Change the result. Sorry, change the B value to val x and change the last result value to displacement means this and add to multiply. But nothing is happening here. So, what we do now? Just create an another vector map, not math node, shift B. Everything will be same, but something will be changed. What? Just change the position here and change the displacement to position here and the val x to displacement. Now, now you can see here nothing is happening but it's looking so weird. So change the multiply value to add and go here, change this value and change this value. 
now you can see the particles are moving but uh, this is too weird so let's change this and make something amazing don't worry you will going to make this very 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 amazing i know that it is looking weird but don't worry i am going to create an amazing noise okay so add a vector ma uh, attribute math mode not vector math mode attribute math mode and connect this to here and change the first value to v value to float and add to multiply okay and add a a to val x and result is also val x and change the value to this okay now you can see it's looking perfect but it's too big that the particles are not shown nor not showing here so what we do now create an another math mode just duplicate it and paste it here change the multiply value to subtract and now you can see the particles are moving very very greatly so one change the value to one now you can see here so let's go to here our to color ramp and change the value here Now, mm, you want then to now you can see. Wow, it's looking so perfect, but this is nothing ready here. So what we do now? Just shift a add a another color ramp node and paste it here. Just change the value to this. and this value to call now just change the value now let's change the whole color hmm, no it's really not perfect hmm, let's look at this this is looking so weird and so so what we do now this is our instances as you can see here you can make it to bigger and make it to also so let's go here go here to base and make it density to much more and uh, let's change the size okay now you can see the max value to 4 okay it's looking so amazing here and change the scale value no sorry let's uh, make a change to something like this no okay now everything is looking perfect so let's shading this make a some shading here so what we do now make a some shading here just click over here displacement and go here change uh, another value just come here add a new value here and you can see this is looking so perfect so the final task is add a texturing in this so let's change the value to shader click on this add a new shader the material is created here shift a add a image shader image texture here click this to here just go here and j add a image texture i have a textures here mm, where is my textures so let's find out where is my textures mm, let's find 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 where is my textures where where are you oh sorry i forgot where i saved my textures mm. 
I think I have to find this so shift image texture here because I'm going to shading it just like a PBR shading so let's add a color here to the roughness shift a ground roughness and shift a add a bump node connect this to here this to normal connect this to normal here so let's add a normal map connect this to here add a height map connect this to here and the last one is emissive so what we do now just create emissive and connect this to here emission now you can see how the shading is looking so amazing so friends what we do now because uh, when so I'm just shading this also so you have don't worry just click on here control C copy this and paste this to here on our instance just control V and delete this and click on this now you can see that what happened and connect this to here also material 0 0.02 now the balls is ready and the animation is not ready because the ball is not moving here so what we do now just close this panel okay shift a add a plane here s5 okay click this connect 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 click this and select this go here ambient bloom screen reflection and sorry not bloom okay go here plane add a texture make it to metallic and keep roughness down change the surface color to the red okay shift d r y 90 degrees and r is the 90 degrees change the value to here sorry now you can see looking so amazing here so what we do now just go here in the render tab shift a add a light you can add a lot of light here so change the light color to and change the value to 15 and change the light color to something like red color it's looking more amazing now you can hear okay change it value to sun and connect this to here now you can see it's looking more perfect shift d duplicate this light and go here and change it to spotlight now you can see and change the 50 value to 50 and this value to orange color shift a add a camera here change the view value to camera to view and let's connect this now you can see here it's looking more amazing but let's change the value the world value to totally black now you can see it's looking amazing but this is not showing here so what we do now click on our light shift a add a sunlight go here to light and change the value to 100 and just go here and just move around this and change the 100 to 50 and the light value to red now you can see that the texture is looking more amazing but this is not red this is just like a pink okay So let's make a moving particle. So click on this, add a keyframe, 
click here i click on i location rotation scale and go to the last frame and just sorry click i in location rotation scale go to the last frame and move this particle like this and move this like this okay now you can see the animation is ready here so thank you friends to watch my video i hope you like this video very very much because i created this video in blender 2.93 i i think there is a lot of mistakes in this video and if you have better suggestion for me so please suggest me and i apologize about all of him what i have done mistakes in this video so please the people who are watching my video which are professionals or intermediates or beginners so please tell me and please suggest me the better ideas thank you friends to watch my video i hope you will like this video we will meet in our next video thank you friends to watch my video and please subscribe and share this to your friends thank you friends we will meet on our next video bye bye